We've got good news, I'm told, from meteorologist Kevin Fisher and the Onion News Network Live 365 Total Weather Coverage Super Tower. Kevin, what's the update? Well, as recently as last night, we were predicting Hurricane Isaac was on a collision course with the Texas coast here. But we're now able to confirm it has changed its path and it's slammed into this big landmass to the south of us. That is an amazing development. We've dodged a bullet here, is that we right? We certainly have. All these deadly winds and torrential rains we thought were going to be so devastating are actually hitting right up above this hook shape area. Amazing. I guess we can be thankful for that big buildup of dirt down there that you have yeah, on your map. Yeah, this whole area here is basically serving as a kind of sandbar for America. A break wall or something. Exactly. If it wasn't there, we'd be getting hit with one of the worst hurricanes of the past decade right Incredible. now. Incredible. We're now predicting in the next couple of hours, Isaac will head west and tear through this funnel looking part here with all these cities on it. Right. By the time it gets anywhere near us, it's just going to be a series of thunderstorms. All right, that's quite a blessing. Yeah. That's an amazing storm. Could have been quite a tragedy. Yeah, Michael. Killer winds like these could have caused some major damage to those Texas cottonwoods. Yes, and you can just imagine how horrific it would have been had those winds hit Houston head it on. It would have been or devastating. Or if that were the Astro Stadium getting ripped apart instead of that little hut thing we see. Scary stuff. Yeah. I understand FEMA had been preparing for a major emergency. They had already trucked in tons of uh, relief supplies, food, bottled water, medical kits. Uh, yeah. We don't need them. No, <laughs> we, we're not going to need any of that now. They can ship it all right back to D.C. Thank goodness for that. But not all good news, Michael. Isaac is battering the coast quite hard in this area here, which sadly is a known breeding ground for grouper and softshell crabs, two delicious seafood delicacies. Mm -hmm. So you may have to skip the crab cake appetizers uh -oh. at the deck party this All weekend. All right, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. But the silver lining is Corpus Christi should be clear and warm, and hey, it's bikini season. <laughs> Meteorologist Kevin Fisher, thank you very much for the good news. Turning to the campaign trail now, John McCain courted black churchgoers with a large, beautiful hat today.